Here's a compelling question for you. If you had the choice to become either extremely large like a giant or extremely small like an ant, which would you choose? The early 20th century writer G.K. Chesterton tells a fascinating story on this subject. Two boys were visited by a fairy in their little front garden one day, and the fairy offered to grant them any wish. Now, the first boy, Paul, wished to become as large as a giant so that he could strive across continents and oceans and visit Niagara Falls or the Himalayas in an afternoon walk. So, the fairy granted his wish, and Paul grew to such a height that his head was above the clouds. He was so large that it didn't take him long to reach Niagara Falls and the Himalayas on foot. However, when he arrived at these spots, he didn't find them to be as marvelous as he'd hoped. They seemed small and silly looking to him in his massive frame. The Niagara seemed no more impressive than the water stream from his home faucet, and the Himalayas seemed no grander than the rockery in his little garden. So he left those places and wandered around the world searching for something bigger, but he found nothing. Everything seemed so small and trivial to him that he was driven to complete boredom. The second boy, Peter, on the other hand, asked the fairy to make him incredibly small. So the fairy did this for him, and Peter shrunk to the size of a pygmy, about half an inch tall. And his experience was the complete opposite of Paul's. All of a sudden, a whole grand, wondrous world opened up before him. He was still in his tiny front garden, which basically consisted of just grass, gravel, and a row of daisies in a flower bed. But this is not what Peter saw. In his minuscule frame, the grass seemed a vast prairie, the gravel looked like a series of grand mountains, and the daisies appeared to be majestic trees with heads that resembled the sun. Because their petals were like gigantic rays of silver, and their centers seemed huge hearts of shining gold. And Peter could catch a glimpse of even more grand sights from the distance, which fired his imagination and fueled his wonder to boundless heights. So he set off on a grand adventure to see those sights up close. And rumor is, he's still exploring that dreamy prairie to this day. This story, I think, teaches us a lot about the nature of wonder. Because it illustrates the fundamental truth that there is great beauty to be found in even the smallest, most unassuming things in our lives. And all we need to do is make ourselves smaller to find it. Make no mistake, the only reason we're rarely awed by the simple things in our life is because, like Paul, we've made ourselves too big. Or, to rephrase that in a way that's easier to understand, we've made our egos too big, to the point where we think we're greater than anything and everything around us. And that's a recipe for unhappiness. We need to be small and humble to both see and appreciate the beautiful natures of our surroundings. Because the smaller and humbler we are, the grander everything around us appears. Little children are a perfect example of this, Everything seems so new and wonderful to them. All this doesn't mean, of course, that we should think so little of ourselves that we don't have any self-esteem, but there's a fine line to be struck, right? The underlying point is we need to avoid pride. Because the more we think of ourselves, the less we think of other things, and the more bored we become as a result. So let's look for things that are bigger than us and not smaller. Or rather, look for big things in the apparently small things. I'd like to end here with a quote from Chesterton, who states in conclusion to his story, If anyone says that I am making mountains out of molehills, I confess with pride that it is so. I can imagine no more successful and productive form of manufacture than that of making mountains out of molehills. But I would add this not unimportant fact, that molehills are mountains. One has only to become a pygmy like Peter to discover that. Thanks for watching. Hey, you folks, hope you enjoyed my video. If you like this content, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. Thanks again, guys. Take it easy, eh?